If you're a city dweller, a nearby park may be the only place you find peace outdoors. But not for much longer. Our urban forests are dying. And if we're not careful, so will we. How would our lives change without urban forests? Would the sudden disappearance of trees impact our oxygen intake? Would it reduce our food supply? Would there be global consequences for the climate? This is What If, and here are 10 things that will happen if urban forests disappear. One of the first things you'll notice when urban trees disappear is that the city will be a lot louder. Trees absorb sound waves, and in a bustling downtown core, they're an important buffer from noisy traffic and construction. You'll also start to experience severe temperature changes. The term heat island refers to developed urban areas where things are more exposed to the sun's rays. Cities with over 1 million people can get up to 53 degrees hotter than surrounding areas. But urban trees can cool cities by 46 degrees. So without them, we're toast. If you think air conditioning will save you, prepare to pay for it. City trees reduce air conditioning use by roughly 30%, and in winter, they can cut heating costs in half. Without urban forests, city economies would suffer, as cities that rely on urban forests to save millions in energy costs each year will suddenly be strapped for cash. Get ready to gasp again. Another problem with urban forests disappearing would be a huge drop in air quality. Think of it this way. One acre of trees provides enough oxygen for 18 people a day. When urban trees disappear, will fresh air go as well? As you prepare for this colossal loss, be sure to buy a good pair of rubber boots. Trees are natural water filters. A healthy forest can absorb as much as 75,000 liters of water per hour during a heavy rain. Without trees in our cities, storm water would flow freely, causing soil erosion, landslides, and flooding. The role of urban forests in absorbing rainwater and protecting soil is directly linked to our livelihood. With less tree coverage, we can expect increased runoff meaning there'll be a higher risk of mud and sediments getting into our water reserves. Not only will the water be unsafe to drink, but its contamination will also jeopardize food security, since you can't grow food with dirty water. Feelings get tense without food, and more so without trees. Studies show that there's less violence in urban areas where there are more trees, because trees create a welcoming space where people tend to interact. With the loss of urban forests, we can expect a surge in crime, brutality, and murder. Commerce and productivity will both take a beating too. Trees grow sales. Consumers are known to shop longer and pay 10% more for goods on tree-lined streets. And research indicates that workers who don't have a view of nature from their desks call in sick 23% more often. The main human impact from the sudden death of urban forests boils down to stress. Without trees in our cities, our stress levels will skyrocket. MRI scans reveal that our brains perceive cities as hostile environments, whereas natural features tap into the part of the brain responsible for empathy and compassion. So without urban forests, our harsh environment will breed a fight or flight mentality among the city's inhabitants, causing anxiety, depression, and aggression in an already violent, destabilized world. Finally, how long can we expect Earth to last once urban forests disappear? Urban trees play a crucial role in reducing carbon emissions from cities. One tree alone absorbs 150 kilograms of carbon dioxide a year. Collectively, city trees across the US store 5.9 million tons of carbon every year. If all those stored pollutants stayed in our atmosphere, the effects of climate change would rapidly accelerate, causing harsher weather, hampering the economy, and giving us even more stress. So look around. You may have thought urban trees were just for decoration, but their real beauty is one we don't really see and seldom acknowledge. If you enjoy clean air and cool summer shade, then branch out and stay tuned for more What If.